So this is the Nomadic P2000 UST projector. UST as in ultra short throw. This is a 4K triple laser projector, has some really bright 2500 ANSI lumens with Harman Kardon speakers, supports Dolby and DTS audio with Wi-Fi, with Bluetooth, and it really has some special features. Now, I did review the P1000 a week or so ago. Just consider this, it's more powerful, more bigger, more beefier brother. Let me show you what you get inside the box. In fact, I guess in the box you get this remote control with the Nomadic logo. This looks pretty much identical to the P1000 remote control. On the back here we can see it does say IR Bluetooth plus backlit. So I always think it's great to have a, a backlit remote control in your home cinema setup. You get a standard kettle lead and then we have the P2000 projector. And honestly guys, this looks like a work of art. I mean this front grille with these red colours really looks like a like a velvet curtain that you may see in the theatre. Just looks really nice, really premium. I mean, the entire unit has a strong, very well-built premium feel. We can see in the front here, we have the DTS Dolby Audio logo. On this side, you've got the power cable. And here we have the Nomadic logo. And here you have the two 25 watt Harman Kardon speakers. So I will be doing some sound tests just to see the kind of quality these pump out. I mean, just looking at the size, we should get some good quality audio. Okay, connectivity wise on the back here, we can see we've got the power input. We have multiple HDMI input ports. We have three in total. We can see the first one supports EARC and they all support HDCP 2.2. Here you've got two USB ports, so you can plug in your flash drives or your USB hard drives and access the media. We've got standard audio out 3.5 mil. Here we've got optical out and here you've got the ethernet port. So you can connect to the internet if you don't want to use Wi-Fi, but in my example, I will be plugging the 4K Fire Stick mags into the first port and we can then use that for our media streaming. So that's what the unit looks like. Again, really well made. No squeaks, no creaks, just a, a well made premium projector. Okay, let's now power that up and let me take you through the setup process. Okay, so I was able to pair the Nomadic P2000 to my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and we are now taken to the home screen. So we can see it has this card sort of style setup. On the immediate left, we can see the different inputs. We have the three HDMI ins. Here we have local storage. So if you were to copy something locally onto the drive, onto the internal storage, you could then access the content here. And if there was some movies you downloaded or some photos, you could click on that and view them directly on the big screen. Let's go back. And of course you've got those USB inputs as well. So again, if you have any kind of media on your USB drives, you can access it from here. And the app center is pretty empty. We have the remote app if you want to control this projector from your smartphone. We have the Bluetooth pairing app and this uh, keyboard selector. Let's go back. Now this projector does have screen mirroring. So whether you're using your iPhone or you're using your Android, you can mirror the screen and beam it directly to the projector. Sports Bluetooth. I do think we have a couple of options here. If you want to connect to a Bluetooth speaker, if you want to use this as a Bluetooth speaker, and you also have Bluetooth out. Let's go back. And you can also add an app if you want to add one of these apps into your shortcuts. Let's quickly try the screen mirroring. So let me turn up my iPhone. Let me now search for devices. Let me click on screen mirroring. I can see the magic in the list. Let me click on that. You can see guys in less than a few seconds, we've now mirrored the screen of my iPhone. I can now, for example, start YouTube. And we're now looking at this amazing picture just look at that detail. You can see each individual hair on that cheetah. Is that cheetah or is that a leopard? But it just looks amazing. And again, this is just doing screen mirroring. And one of the limitations with screen mirroring is you can't actually adjust any of the settings or the quality. So I will plug my 4K Fire Stick Max into the P2000. Then we can do some more of these video demos. But definitely guys, you can see out of the box without making any changes, just beaming this picture directly from my phone to the big screen just looks amazing. Okay, let me now plug in my Fire Stick. Okay, so we can see that the projector has now detected the new source, my Fire Stick. Let's now click on yes. That should change the input automatically. And we are now on the all too familiar Fire Stick home screen. So I can now access all of my favorite streaming applications. I can access all of my favorite content. Let's try some 4K YouTube. 
Now that's what you call some 4K content. Uh, let me just turn the volume down in case of any copyright issues. But you can see guys here, we can really appreciate the detail, the colors, the super sharp picture. I mean, you can see each individual hair on that tiger's face. I mean, watching 4K content like this, especially with HDR, you really can appreciate the quality of this uh, projector. I mean, look at the color of those eyes. <laughs> now, of course, if you want to slightly adjust the colors, maybe you're not happy with the picture tone or the color tone, you can press the uh, settings menu on the remote control and we can now customize the color. For example, here we can say, instead of doing movie HDR, I'd like to change it to TV HDR. So you can definitely see a slight color change there from movie to TV. But again, guys, I mean, what a glorious picture that is. Of course, you can customize the brightness, the color temperature, and really just get the picture looking exactly how you like it. And we can see here there is an option to support three times faster input, which I will be testing in some games. Let's do a speaker test. Okay, so here we can just see a, a clip. So this is at volume uh, 10. And uh, let's just forward that a bit. Okay, let me increase the volume a bit. So this is at 14, 15, 16. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very, very crisp audio, but at the same time, you are getting that punchy bass. Yeah, you definitely can appreciate the bass and the audio quality there. So I'm definitely happy with the inbuilt Harman Kardon speakers. Now, if you want to see good quality color tones, really deep blacks, this really is a fantastic demo to demonstrate that. I mean, here you can just see the blacks look truly black. I mean, I'm using an ALR screen, which definitely helps with the, the light rejection, but you can see guys, that really is a super crisp, super sharp, super detailed picture. Yeah, gaming on a big screen is just a completely different experience, particularly for your driving games and your FPS games. You really can appreciate that big screen and playing these games on this projector was an absolute joy. Now the P2000 also supports frame interpolation technology. And what this basically means is when you have fast moving content, maybe in your games or high speed action scenes, that content will be smoothed out, giving you a fluid, fast picture. Okay, so wrapping this up, what are my closing thoughts on the Nomadic P2000 ultra short throw projector? So overall guys, I'm really impressed with the quality of this projector. Comparing this to the P1000, I mean, the P1000 is, is a lot smaller, it's portable, you know, has those great features, particularly if you're interested in gaming. But I think for pure picture quality, I think this one definitely has the edge. As you've seen today with some of those demos, some of those HDR content, the vibrant colors, the deeper blacks, the amazing contrast ratio. I do think this projector has produced some of the best pictures I've ever seen on any projector review I've done on my channel. I was also really impressed with the audio with those two Harman Kardon speakers. We saw the Avengers demo, even at volume 10 or 12, the volume was very loud, but at the same time, there was no distortion, no crackling, no hissing. It was still very clear, very crisp audio. I like the fact that we get those three HDMI inputs, so you can plug in your Fire Stick, your Xbox, your PS5. You have multiple input options there, whereas the P1000, for example, only had a single HDMI input. But I would say for me personally, the headline item definitely is the picture quality. I mean, it must just be the next generation of these 4K Ultra HD projectors, but I was just completely blown away with the picture quality of the Nomadic P2000. I mean, the detail, the color, the vibrancy, it really is something to behold. And my camera is not really going to do it justice, guys, but just trust me when I say the picture quality is just breathtaking. And I would say that's definitely the main selling point of the Nomadic P2000 projectors. So for me, this is a very easy recommend, guys. So if you are in the market for a triple laser ultra HD projector, I would definitely recommend you check out the Nomadic P2000. And if you are more interested in gaming, if you're looking for that low latency, also check out the P1000. So do have a look in the video description and pinned comment. If you do want to check out this projector, do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.